Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to use the find and receiver, uh, which also can work with other uh, source clients. But let me just give you an example here. We're going to be changing text, and it's for a menu, which is on every page. And the way this website is set up, that it's static, so it's on every page. So we don't have a dynamic menu to just change in one area. So let me show you how we can do it really quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the area of code that I want to go ahead and make changes to. I'm going to click then I'm going to click find and replace. And as you can see here, I've already started this, but this is the exact link that you see above and what I need to change it to is this right here. Now, I don't want it to just change for this one page. I want it to change for all pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I downloaded the website completely so I have the latest version. So this way I'm not overriding anything. But once I downloaded the site, which I've already done, I'm then going to choose the exact folder which I would change everything. Now in this case, it's the public HTML folder. So then I'm going to go ahead and click Choose. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Replace All. And it's going to give me a pop-up that says this operation cannot be undone in all documents that, you're, that are, are not currently open. So basically what that means is if you don't have the document open here, you can't uh, do control uh, or command Z and undo it on those pages. It will do it and you can't change it unless you actually change it back. So you want to make sure when you're doing this, you're not accidentally uh, putting the wrong code in or adding a bracket or something like that because you could seriously mess up your website. So this is something that you know you want to make sure that uh, you're doing it correctly. But it's just a quick way to make th make changes, but also make sure you're doing it right. Now I'm going to click yes, and as you can see here, it just automatically is changing it for all of the pages. So now if I go ahead and refresh my page, you can see that everything is okay there. So now I'm just going to upload the whole site back to the server and we should be good to go and that's how you change uh, for everything at once using the find and replace thank you very much with Brody Web Design